Hi everyone, happy St. Patrick's Day. We're gonna be drawing a few magical creatures. I'd love to see what you come up with. Draw your own and post in the comments below. Okay, first up we'll be doing a leprechaun. So I'm gonna do my leprechaun right up here. I'm gonna start with the face. So I'm gonna draw a curved line just like this. It's, it's kind of a flat curved line uh, for the forehead. Then I'm gonna draw like the letter U all the way around, just like that. I'm gonna add the beard, or before I add the beard, I'm gonna add the hat. So coming from that first curve line, I'm gonna draw two lines, one, two. Those are the brim, that's the brim of the hat. And I'm gonna go out, up, around, around, and down, okay? Now from right here, that point is where I'm gonna start the beard. So I'm gonna come down around the chin, and come to like a little point. Same thing over here, come down around the cheek, down around the chin and finish off to that point right there. Okay, that's the bottom of the beard. Then I'm gonna add the buckle on top of the hat by starting with a rectangle up here, a little rectangle inside of that. And I'm gonna draw two straight lines, one, two. Make sure you don't go as far as the sides of the hat. So I'm gonna draw a straight line, a straight line, down and down. Then I'm gonna draw the top of the hat by going up, around, and down. Just like that. Now I'm going to start with his face. I'm gonna put a little oval right here for his nose. I'm gonna put a smile, like a half smile. And I'm gonna put two ovals for eyes, but these ovals are gonna be turned up like that, one oval, two oval. You can color yours in or do whatever kind you want to. I'm going to color most of mine in, except I'm gonna leave a little tiny part of it white so that they look shiny. Now, I'm gonna add some pointy ears going out and down, out and down. Now let's work on the jacket, okay? I'm gonna add a little box right here underneath the beard. That's three lines, one, two, three. I'm gonna add two little arms, one, two. Again, just boxes. I'm gonna add two little legs, one, two. Now I'm gonna add his belt by drawing a rectangle right here. I'm gonna add two lines, one, two, for that side of the belt, two lines, one, two, for that side of the belt. Then I'm gonna put a little fist right here that's gonna hold a four-leaf clover. So I'm just gonna draw a square like that, and I'm gonna put a little loop right here for his thumb, okay? And then I'm gonna put the four-leaf clover coming out of it by drawing one line through the hand and then four leaf clover, so one, two, three, and four. I'm gonna draw little shoes by drawing kind of like triangles. One, it's kind of like a triangle, two, but it stops at the ankle, okay? And his other hand's gonna be right here. I'm gonna put his thumb right there. One, two, three, four. Those are just kind of like little bumps for fingers. Now you can actually shade in things like his belt. I'm gonna put another little shade in right there. You can shade in his shoes. And you can shade in the band on his hat or the belt on his hat, just like that, okay? And voila, you have a leprechaun. All right, next we're gonna draw a unicorn, so follow along. We're gonna start with the head by drawing a kind of like a pinched C shape. Then we're gonna draw the jaw for our unicorn by drawing an open letter U. We can draw the neck, the front of the neck, which comes from right here, we'll draw a short line, and then we're gonna draw, excuse you, we're gonna draw the 
ear right here. Actually, let's finish that forehead. We're gonna finish the forehead on around with a curved line. Draw an ear going up and down. Okay, then we will draw the back of the neck going down like that. Let's draw the body of our unicorn by looping it on around. We're gonna do a curve, a dip down and a curve around. And we'll just come and connect it on up for the belly, okay? Then we're gonna add four little legs. One, two, three, mm -hmm. and four. So let's add hooves by drawing straight lines across those all, okay? We're gonna add the hair. Let's draw it by doing some curved lines. I'm gonna kind of curve down and swirl up. We're gonna do it again, curl down, swirl up. And let's do one more. Curl down and swirl up. Then we'll do the tail, go up, over, down, curl up. Almost like a fishing line. Do another one right here. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna add the bangs. Do like a backwards fishing line here that curves around. Okay, then we have to do the unicorn horn. So we're gonna draw a skinny spike like that. You can put stripes on it. So it looks like it's swirling around. Okay, I'm gonna draw a line right here to separate the nose color. I'm gonna put a little nostril circle. I'm gonna put a big eye. So I did a big oval. And I'm gonna do it kind of similar to how I did my leprechaun eye by shading it all in. I'm gonna add some eyelashes, okay? And I'm going to, hmm, I think I'm gonna put some polka dots on my unicorn. Like that, but you can decorate yours however you want, okay? And I'm gonna shade in the hooves, make them darker, and voila, you have yourself a unicorn. All right, next we're gonna draw a fairy. So let's start our fairy. We're gonna draw a wide letter U, just like that. And then we're going to draw uh, the bangs for our fairy. So actually, let's just make that a circle. So kind of just draw some short little lines to create a circle. To draw the bangs, you're just gonna do a curved zigzag line going across the forehead. Then we're gonna put a headband on her. So we're gonna draw a kind of like a rainbow on top of her head like that. And then we're gonna add her hair. So we're gonna start here. We're gonna circle up, go around, and end with a little loop, okay? And we'll finish it on like that. Back and forth, back and forth, come up for the neck. Okay, let's draw a little leaf collar for her. So I'm gonna kind of do like curved little zigzag. What we call that is like a scalloped edge. And let's add her dress that swoop out and out. And let's make it have petals on the bottom. And I'm just drawing skinny letter U's to make it look like it is made out of petals. Mm-hmm, yeah. Then we're gonna add two little arms using lines. One, two, one, two. I'm gonna put a little square fist for her wand over here. And I'm gonna put uh, her hand, just like the leprechaun hand, I'm gonna do her thumb facing up and then one, two, three, four for the rest of her fingers. I'm gonna do her magic wand coming out of that hand and I'm gonna put a little star on the end with an upwards arrow, two sideways arrows, and then two arrows kind of pointing out and down. Now let's add her face. I'm gonna do an oval for the nose. I'm gonna do two ovals for the eyes. One, two, I'm gonna shade them in how I did the others. Okay, I'm gonna add some eyelashes for her. I'm gonna put a big smile. I'm gonna put two circles for her cheeks. 
okay? I'm gonna add her little toe, or her little legs right here. I'm gonna draw kind of like a letter U with a line down the middle, and I'm gonna put some cute little shoes on her, maybe with some ribbons that go up. Okay, and then now she needs her wings. Every fairy needs her wings, so I'm gonna draw one big upper wing and one lower wing using two curved lines that kind of come to a point. One big upper wing and one lower wing. Remember, you can draw details on the wings just like we drew on our bumblebee wings the other day. So I'm going to draw kind of straight lines going down the middle of them and then diagonal lines going up and out away from the fairy like that. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Just like that. There we go, we've got a fairy. Okay, now we're gonna draw a dragon. So let's start with an oval, like that. Let's go ahead and put uh, two ovals. One, two, like that. Then I'm gonna shade in those ovals, just how I did the others. Mm-hmm, just like that. Now I'm gonna put a curved line just like that. I'm gonna put two nostrils, one, two. I'm gonna put a little smile with some teeth sticking out. Okay, then I'm gonna add the body. And to do the body, I'm gonna do kind of like a pear shape. Like that. Mm-hmm. And then I'm gonna add the tail by drawing like a little curved spike, like half of a, a crescent moon. I'm gonna add two little feet. So I'm gonna start by drawing a V. And I'm gonna do three toes. One, two, three. A V with three toes. One, two, three. Okay, then I'm gonna put two little hands. One, Two, I'm gonna make this one up waving and I'm gonna add three claws. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, now let's add some wings to our dragon. So we're gonna go up with a curved line and underneath we're gonna draw some rainbows until it connects to the back again, just like that. Okay, let's do another one over here. A big rainbow with a few small rainbows until they connect to the back of our dragon. Now our dragon needs some spikes. So we're gonna add some spikes on the head and it's gonna go all the way down the back, but hop over that wing and continue it on down up the tail. Just like that. Voila, you have a dragon. Okay, and now we're gonna draw a mermaid. So I'm gonna start with a wide letter U right here. I'm gonna draw two lines that are curved. That's gonna be her bangs, okay? Then I'm going to draw a line that starts here down on the bottom of her cheek and it circles all the way around. I'm gonna make her hair floating in the water. So I'm gonna draw a squiggly line. I'm going to connect this one with a squiggly line on back to the other side of her cheek, like that. I'm going to draw an oval for her nose, two ovals for her eyes, one, two, I know, Francis, I hear you, I hear you. We're drawing a mermaid, can you see the mermaid? Can you see the mermaid? Yeah, that's a fairy and a dragon and a unicorn and a leprechaun, yeah. Yeah, let's draw the mermaid. We're going to finish out that mermaid, okay? Okay, I'm going to shade in those eyes just how I did all the others by leaving just a little bit of white, just like that. I'm going to draw a big smile, two lines. I'll draw two circles for cheeks, okay? Then I'm going to draw her little body by drawing two lines like that. I'm going to put a little top on her. 
by drawing two lines straight across, and you can shade that in or color it in. Then I'm gonna draw her tail. To draw her tail, I'm gonna draw a wide letter V right there, and we're gonna draw two squiggly lines, one, two, and they come to a point. Then we're gonna add leaf shapes for the two fins here. So I'm gonna draw a curved line, that's one, and then I have to connect it with another curved line, two. And we're gonna do one more over here. One, two, okay? Let's add her arms. I'm gonna do one right here, one line, two line, and I'm gonna do one right here, one line, two line. Now she needs her hand. I'm just gonna draw a wide letter U and a skinny little U for her thumb and then the, mo the other parts of her fingers there. And I'm gonna draw a thumb going up here and then the rest of her fingers out like that, okay? You can add seashells, you can draw all the scales. Scales are just the letter U and then they alternate positions on the following row, just like that. You can draw a belly button. I'm gonna put some scales elsewhere, just like that. You can draw a seashell by drawing two lines, little line around, bumps on top, lines, okay? You can put some lines in her hair if you want. Okay, all these details you can add. You could even put a little starfish in her hair if you wanted. Remember, starfish are gonna have those five points. All right, there we go. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed our magical creature drawings today. Have a wonderful St. Patrick's Day. Remember, get outside, help around the house, read a little each day, be creative, and above all else, remember, kindness matters. Have a good day.